Alright guys, um, doing a request video right now. Uh, this is uh, called Air Crack. Basically what this is, it's a Wi-Fi sniffer for the PlayStation Portable. And I'm going to show you how to install this and run it. So uh, first things first, obviously, you uh, have to be on custom firmware. And uh, what you're going to do is simply just take the USB cord and plug it into the PSP and connect up USB mode. Set that over there for now. Do. And uh, what we're going to do is open this up and the file I'm going to have you download is uh, this file right here. It's the aircrack PSP underscore uh, zero point Five four four nine nine three, and uh, double click on that and open it up with an extraction program. If you don't have an extraction program, right click on it and say extract, and you can extract all the files to your desktop. And when you open that up, you should see the Aircrack PSP folder. Inside that folder, you're going to see the Aircrack PSP.cfg. Make sure that file is in there. If it's not, <laughs> this isn't going to work. Uh, the eboot, obviously the cap file, a readme text, and a couple of PRX files. So, <laughs> go back until you see the aircrack-psp folder. I'm gonna fucking kill people. Anyways, we're gonna start and computer and open up the removal drive for the PSP. Go to the PSP folder and the game folder and Simply what you're going to do is take this and drag and drop that into the game folder. <clears throat> and let that copy over like so. See who's bugging me. <coughs> Swollen tonsils sucks. Anyways, oh boy. Um, so once that's done, we can uh, exit this out and uh, <coughs> let's go to our PSP and we're gonna disconnect the USB mode. Now, <coughs> what we're gonna do is on the PSP's menu. We're going to scroll all the way over to the game and go to the memory stick. And somewhere in there you should see PSP Aircrack. Start that up. <coughs> it sucks. <coughs> Don't get tonsillitis. I hope this shit boots up. Uh, <coughs> I'm on a custom firmware 6.37 ME-3 There's a couple of bugs here and there Some homebrews don't work Oh my god Shut the fuck up Anyways Yeah all right, so I'm gonna try something new. Gotta reboot my device <laughs> because it's gay. <laughs> Come on. All right, hit select. Now go to your UMD ISO mode driver, and uh, there's a Prometheus ISO loader. So. put it on Prometheus ISO loader and see what happens because this did work on Prometheus so maybe if we use that driver this might actually work <coughs> ow 
This does work on all custom firmwares though. From five point uh zero was it five point zero zero? Yeah, five point zero zero M thirty three dash six and it'll work all the way to five point five zero Prometheus four. It's just having problems with this. But this is how you install it the correct way. So I'm gonna kill your babies, Windows. Um Yeah, fuck it. I'm not even gonna deal with this now. I will try and make this work on 637. If not, maybe I'll downgrade to 635. I don't know. But, <laughs> point being, <laughs> that's how you install it um, correctly. Right now, uh, this is for 5.00 custom firmware users and 5.50 custom firmware users. It won't necessarily work on 6. 6.35 or 6.37 custom firmwares, but I will get back at you on that. So, uh, other than that, I'll have the link for download with a description and everything, and uh, we'll leave it at that. So, take it easy, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, ask questions if you need to. I'll be happy to answer. Peace.